Good morning. Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. And I'm Alex Steele with The Street, and we're going to bring you the morning call. Scott, let's get to it. Markets continuing higher on Wednesday, thanks to Big Ben over there, okay. assuring easy money policy for uh, at least until the fall. So what do you do now? Are you taking profits? Do you wait? I sold a little bit of my S&Ps into the close. We've talked about so many strategies on how to buy this market, how to buy it in the belly of the beast into the Japanese crisis, how to technically buy a higher low, and then how to play the breakout of this inverted head and shoulders pattern. So right now we're a bit extended. I'm taking a little bit off. If you're in a tier two, tier three, it's always decent. Booking a profit. Take a quick look at the chart, which I just pretty much explained, where you know the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, I like to keep going over it so you can see patterns that repeat themselves. We then now extended above this neckline. At this point, it's been a nice move, about 55 handles in six, seven sessions. Not so bad to take a little profit as we might need to go a little sideways and digest this phenomenal bullish action that we've seen. And if you're just in tier one, so you're just lightly invested <laughs> right now, so you obviously missed this move, so you want to wait till it goes sideways for a while? Yeah, I would wait to let the market prove it could hold above this 1340 to 1350 area, sit there, let some bases build, and then I do think we do head higher, but we're up like six out of eight days. Don't mm -hmm. chase here unless you think you could hold through a, what we might see as a, a little bit of a profit-taking dip. All right, so hold through pain, as, as <laughs> yes. you can say. All right.